Hey everyone, so what you're here to talk about today or to listen to me talk about is a new pair of sunglasses by T. Henry. Now they make these as an optical or sunglass, but yeah, this one, it's on the sunglass side for me, at least for today. But let's go and, uh, you know, do the thing and we'll look at the thing and then we'll play with these sunglasses. So there you go, on to what really matters. If you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and we'll talk about all sorts of cool sunglasses, tips to keep them fitting well, take care of them, all that kind of stuff here on the channel, that's what we do. But what we're here to talk about today is this brand new piece by T. Henry. An incredible design in particular is that larger size and fit overall that we see really ignored within the market. There's not a lot of sunglasses for bigger heads. Now this one is massive on me. You can see we get close enough to the camera here, just huge on my face. So even with all this fullness, it's still pretty large on me. Overall size wise, it is not small. We're talking 58 millimeter lens almost, 21 and a half millimeter bridge. Yeah, 57.2, 21.4. It's a great one for that prescription fit because it does have the nice bezel in it and we can do pretty much anything in these. I've already fit one in prescription, looks great and amazing. This one in particular, I really just, I have to throw out here, the change in cut right through here, you know, we don't see that uplifted on that bottom edge very often, usually kind of the classic aviator. It's gonna teardrop down over here. A lot of structure through the top brow line sort of a little bit of a dip in the middle there, but it's much more angular than you would normally see that kind of brow dip line be. Really thin and slick through here, which you will kind of see in the traditional aviator shapes. They're really thin right through here, but with this one, of course, there's enough distance between the lenses that it's got a really good fit and cut to it. And we do have the ceramic uh, titanium, sorry, the titanium nose pads on these, which are going to be, ah, my brain is bumbling today. I believe it is white gold dip on these. Oh, uh, now I just feel dumb. Look that up. I'll put it down in the comments and let you know exactly what that was on this particular model. This is the tungsten colorway, which is a very nice addition to the collection for me because it's that little bit of a smoky crystalline. Uh, I'd say the shamrock is another very, very beautiful colorway. We'll get into that in one of the other frames here in a bit, but the shamrock colorway just really doesn't show up great in my studio. It's a very rich green on camera. It's showing up black. These lenses are actually kind of an orange and blush. So I ended up not using that model for the video because it just doesn't look as cool as it actually does. Overall sizing on this one, as I mentioned, it's definitely in that large oversized category for most people, but it's going to be a really good fit for those larger faces or when you're looking for that oversized pair. As you can see, the overall fit on me is good here. It's still got a really nice balance to it. You know, it's not really bridge heavy or front heavy once it's on the face and in place, <laughs> as opposed to off your face and in the case to keep them safe so the dog doesn't eat them, right? Yeah. The one thing I really, really love about these is the way light passes over this lens. And you don't see this or this frame. You don't see this in a lot of the more basic brands out there. They're very clean cut. They're very flat. There's not a lot of dimension to them. So once you kind of start jumping up in those categories, you start to see more facets come to life. There's more angles. There's just more work in the details. On the temple cores, you know, you've got this nice little signature design here. The new ones, there's even more coming. So yeah, we'll talk about those details when the other new pieces come out. But this guy is definitely one of the big ones to mention <laughs> because it is the big one, right? Then you've got the T. Henry Shield logo there on either side. All great stuff. Really good high-end construction. You've got your five barrel hinges buried in here. Very, very good. You've got your little logo nose pads as well. There you go. And this little bump here on the bridge, speaking of dimension and depth to a frame, that's something a lot of people don't quite get, you know? So you've got your flat surface through here. You've actually got that bump forward in the bridge. 
it's just a nice attention to detail, right? And that's why I say, as light passes across this, you just get a lot more dimension and depth, and there's really a lot of beauty, especially in these crystalline colorways. And they are mostly crystalline colorways this time around. So you've got the tungsten here, which is the slightly smoked crystal. You've got the diamond, which is the true crystal. The asteroid is going to be your solid colorway. That's your black and gold. Uh, we've got that one in the birdcage, which we'll get to another time. Lots of new stuff to play with. So I'm going to leave it on that note. I am going to try to keep these reviews a little bit more concise and quick and to the point. Overall weight, as I mentioned, it is acetate with titanium core, so there is not a huge amount of heft here. I didn't bring the scale down here. Maybe we'll do that in the future if you guys care that much about the weight. For me, I care more <clears throat> about the overall balance. Now, the lenses in these are pretty good and dark. I think they're just shy of a Category 3 in most of them. Nothing extraordinary, but, but... Backside anti-reflective coating on all of these, and I have to throw a little nod out here. This is a trick I've used often. It's a gold backside anti-reflective. Incredibly neutral for the eyes. It's almost not like there's one there. A lot of the blue backside anti-reflective coatings are extremely harsh to the eyes. Uh, you see it like crazy. We saw that with Porsche Design. It was really, really bad. On um, some of theirs in particular, the really dark ones with that Azure backside AR was awful. Anyway. That's all I've got on the Valhalla, the King of the Mountain, the Slayer of the Dragons. No, that's not what it is. It's the Olympian Hall where all of the... Uh, yeah. No. No. It is the Aston Martin Valhalla, the real king of the streets. And that is what these sunglasses will be as we get into the next season. Maybe not a good uh, Christmas gift for somebody else because I promise you're going to steal them for yourself. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time.